Recall that the root mean square velocity is not the same thing as average velocity. Although sometimes the two values will coincide, most of the time the two values are different, as we'll see in a following example. Suppose that six molecules in a container have speeds as listed in the following table. So molecule one has a speed of three meters per second, molecule two has a speed of 2 meters per second and all the way down to molecule 6 which has a speed of 5 meters per second. So in part A calculate the average velocity of the six molecules and in part B calculate the root mean square velocity of the six molecules in our container. So let's begin with part A. Recall that the average velocity by definition is simply the sum of all the velocities of our molecules divided by the number of velocities that we have. So we have six different velocities, so this will be six. So we have three plus two plus one plus six plus three plus five meters per second divided by six, and that gives us about 3.33 meters per second. Now we go to part B, in which we want to calculate the root mean square velocity of our six molecules. So by definition, root mean square velocity is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares divided by the total number of molecules, once again 6. So V1 squared, so 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 6 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared, divide that by 6 and take the square root. So 84 divided by 6, which gives us 14, we take the square root of 14 meters squared divided by second squared and that gives us about 3. 3.74 meters per second. Notice these two values are different because by definition uh, the root mean square velocity is not the same thing as the average velocity, although sometimes the values will indeed coincide.